Hi, this is Ushio, and welcome back to Spiritfarer. I believe we are getting closer to the end of our journey. Maybe one or two more videos to go. So we got all these guys who are probably quite hungry. Yeah, I, I, I will feed you. I'm sorry. Ha have some food. What do you want? Some, uh, what do you want? Fried surf? Is that any good? Now we're talking. That's some good chow. Hot food's the best when you get the munchies. Mickey here is psyched. Yeah, so we have got a couple of things going on. We have got this, which is green salad. This. I have done something. I, I've done a, a little bit of cheating. Because Elena is ready to go to the Everdor. However, she does not like being hugged. And because I keep asking her for a hug, I've actually made her really sad and really depressed. And I figured... The least I could do is give her her favourite meal before she goes. A little discipline. Yeah, look, she is sad as hell, was almost hugged again. Really, really not happy. But if I can, yeah, if I can give her her favourite food, that's something I can do at least as an apology on my part. So, where's that green salad? Green salad. Very good. It's nothing like a green salad. And that's all you need. Okay, so now they're just sad and not super depressed. So, sorry, I wish I could have treated you better, but you're you're a bit of a hard case. You're a bit of a, a very strict, unremitting teacher. And it seems to be your way, your way or the highway. If you don't take the, the lessons and you get broken by it, then well, it's, it's quite an unsympathetic treatment of, of your students. And I think deep down she, she knows that she's really tough on people. But it's the decision that she's kind of gone with. And she's not, not happy with it. But she's sticking to her guns just to be consistent. And not, you know, back down on what she's chosen. On how she's chosen to live her life. Alright, here we are. So, there's only three people left on the ship. And, oh, I'm not, I'm not including myself. But yeah, it's going to get even quieter now. Stella, we're here. And I've been working you hard lately. I hope you do understand. Everyone needs a little bit of discipline in their lives. For someone who takes others to the afterlife, you're holding on surprisingly well. I do have one last request for you. It won't be an easy one, considering what we've been talking about. Will you make the journey with me? I will, thank you. They're the person who's... They're willing to be the bad guy, because they believe that their actions are for the greater good and for the benefit of why, of the person that they're treating harshly. So I, I do understand sort of where they're coming from. But this, this is our crew now. One last thing. So, you are my first student in this place. I don't think you deserve a passing grade. I won't hold it against myself. And neither should you. A lesson you should learn from this. If life is hard, you should not be hard to it. People have the ability to change. You have the ability to change. You can shape how you want to be. I know that this is sometimes a tradition, the passing of a legacy, a token at the end, an heirloom. Something for you to remember my time here. I do not wish to give you one. However, I have prepared something greater. Tasks and requests from the great beyond that you will receive. A useless object will not make you think of me, but lessons will. Okay, so to the end. To the end, they're going to be the super tough, strict teacher. Okay, probably the briefest day we've had. Hopefully, this will all be over soon. Very impersonal. No hugs. Let me think of something. Okay. I'll just say it. I just want to say, truly, from teacher to student, I'm proud. You did good work.
and that's it. Wow, what a heart to heart. A very tough nut to crack. Very tough character indeed. As harder than themselves as they are to everybody else. So, a lot of people would just think that they're a horrible person, but they're they're tough because they think that's what they think is best, and that's what this requires. So, no, no small talk. We just gotta do it because this is what we need to do. It's it's a very tough approach. And here we are. Here's the bridge. Quite an interesting character. For so little they've offered us. It's an interesting character. I've been thinking. When we get there, maybe, just maybe, we can hug. We'll see how I feel about it. This would be interesting. Because that personal attachment is not what they're about. And if anything, it's it's brought them down. Any attempts at some kind of personal connection have brought her down. Okay, this is the only time I will let you. Come on. We got the hug in. One, one big affectionate hug. That one moment to allow themselves that, that connection. into the sky they go just to join everybody else whenever it's night time in the game you can see them in in the sky because they're always there and you never forget these people that you have connections with but our boat is a quieter place again oh hello oh does that mean we can hug we can hug all the time Because we have the memory of that one time we hugged, we can revisit that memory at every given point. Because it's once you have a memory like that, you, you can't remove it, you can't take it away. It will, it will stay with you. Uh, not a lot going on. If I want, I can end the game myself and I can take Stella, our main character, to the other door. But we're not doing that yet. So... We need to not be here for sure. We need to not be here. Let's let's go. It is another new morning. And I only have two passengers on my ship. But I want to grow these peaches. This is this is the thing that's going to take a while. Oh no. I didn't realize everyone is here. Everyone is here. So I can, I have all the memories. Oh, no. Oh, is it only when we're in the area of the Everdor? Are they there? They interrupted my hug with Astrid. How very rude. How very rude. Oh, man. I was enjoying that hug as well. Okay. Let's go. I think we can go, let's go to, is it Nord Nordweiler? Is it here? Okay. Do, do I want to do that straight away though? Is there anything else I want to visit? Because sometimes when you look at an area, it shows you the gaps on things you haven't discovered. Like there's a spirit there we haven't spoken to. So maybe, maybe we should have a little bit of a side trip. Just to see if we can fill a couple of gaps. I don't, I don't want no more sheep. But there is a spirit there we haven't spoken to. So I guess we'll try that. Because the one thing we want to do is kind of kind of take up a little bit of time so I can have these peaches grow. I think it might take a day or two in game time. Yeah, oh, look, 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 the tree has grown a little bit. So one more step and it should start bearing fruit. But yeah, okay, let's let's open this thing up. We want to go to Mount Toriyama. Yeah, there's a spirit there we haven't helped. 
So I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Is there anywhere else that's like a really obvious thing that we've not, not been looking at? There's not a lot around here. There's a rare chest there. Okay. A blueprint chest there. A spirit there. That's the guy who wants an axe. I never found it. Apparently, you can fish for it. But it never showed up. But otherwise, there's a rare chest there. Oh, there's some... Maybe we should go to Flotsam Shores next as well. I, I just want to have a bit of a, a final explore. It feels like very much we're kind of rounding off. So maybe I'll check a couple of these places one more time. See if anything interesting or important shows up. Okay, resources found that there's a shrine there. A rare chest and a spirit. It says we haven't done them. I'm sure I have. But who knows. But we have arrived. And let's see if there's anything new. I just want to see if there's one or two little things that I can easily pick up. Oh, we've unlocked the door. This is the island where Alice used to live. Cherry seed and a ceramic bowl. Not, not the most exciting of secrets. But I just wanna, I just wanna double check some stuff. There we go, citrine and an old carpet. So yeah, maybe, maybe that's all we can find here. New request, proscriptor. What is that? There's a letter from Eleanor. Okay. Okay. She said that she would leave us something behind. I thought it was the special hugs. I was wrong. That was a, a misconception on my part. She is not that affectionate. She was not going to have a big sentimental thing left behind on her watch. No way. However, I can check out the letter that she sent us. Okay, so maybe next time I go to the Everdor, I can kind of hug everybody. Alright, let's check out this letter. This is new. For sure. A letter from Eleanor. Two. Two letters. Okay. You have a bit more to go. I think you can upgrade your stations. Okay. What What's the other letter say? I think you've had enough time off. I've marked a few errands for you to do. Francis will provide you with the details. Improve your station to their full potential and complete the errands of Francis. Isn't Francis the, the guy on the boat who sells stuff? I have done none of those errands at all. So sorry, Anna. I might be able to improve my boat a bit, but otherwise, I'm not sure I can help. But I did her main things, so those missions are for Stella's benefit. But I I'm satisfied with what I've got, so I think Stella will be alright. And I'm satisfied that I was able to do what Eleanor wanted for, for her to be able to pass on as well. So that is cool. Yo, what's up? Wanna have a chat? He was untouchable. Nobody could get Mickey. One night, he just got in his car. He probably had a few too many. And he drove that car over the overpass, straight into the lake. He didn't wake up. Winded up in hospital bed for six months. Not moving. It still felt like him. Silent, but dangerous. You could see the rage in his face. He didn't want to be in that bed though, at least not that long. So he had a, an accident. Wow. So where where's Buck? I do find Buck hard to find because he's so he's so small. Okay, dude is hungry. Dude is hungry. I've got loads of food. Not many mouths to feed anymore. So go for it. No, it doesn't have fruit. Doesn't have fruit. Keep selecting. What else have I got? What is that? Crab? Go for it. So that is nice. In a good mood. Don't know his favourite yet. Okay. But I think we're almost to Nord Rider. Because Buck, he wants to do his, his Dungeons and Dragons game, essentially. So that could be interesting. Here we are. It's snowy and it's cold. But these guys are going to do their roleplay. And nothing's going to stop them. We got everyone and snacks ready. I hope you got your snacks ready as well. But yeah, we, we're going to play some roleplay right now. Alright, lads. Where are you? Hello? Hmm. Who invented winter? I mean, it's, it's a question. Why, why did everyone come inside? Hello? I wish I could find my keys. I wish I could find your keys as well. 
Alright. Oh, up here. Commander. Sometimes grand events happen in the simplest of places. The air is damp with mead fumes. The atmosphere is tense and the onlookers gaze at your appearance. The naked Mulberryan is a shabby parlor indeed. Its inconspicuousness is its best quality. A lot of people lost eyes here. You can smell the bloodshed in the air. The perfect rendezvous for the Silver Company. And indeed, our reunited Avengers each came forth with a piece for an intricate scenario. Werdrick the Bard, in his research, found an ancient tome in the Elder Archives of the Great Library of Walaubal. In it, words of a very wise and ancient being, an oracle, had been mentioned by the sages of Wa'eron. Elperin, the noble ranger, met with the witch's conclave in Samdara. The witches talked about the leaves of the Elder Tree, and through their forbidden ritual of Almazar awakened the tree from its angel slumber. I've got to tell you that a lot of this, these names that he's throwing at me, it's tough. It's tough. And finally, Emderil riding his white steed. Emderil. Emderil did nothing but argue on the internet over the merits of the Poison Cloud spell cast at level 2. Good job, Drone, once again. Commander, the Silver Company might have unearthed where our next step will be. Roll a knowledge skill. 18. Success! You can't shake the idea that the Oracle is indeed hidden in Furugawa. This can be the only possible solution. Determined, you believe it's time to set sail toward Furugawa to the Oracle. Okay, there's a new place to go. So is, is, is everyone going to come with us? So what we got to do? Talk to Buck. But I believe we're going to be going on another journey. Off to Furugawa, which we, we just visited. We, we literally just visited. Commander, Commander! The Oracle is a being of immense wisdom. Only the Chosen One will be deemed worthy. You'll have to face the Oracle alone. He is old as time, watching all of us mortals. You can find him in Furugawa. Find the Oracle. Okay, I guess. Oh god, wrong button. <laughs> We need to go to Furugawa. I think we'll take the bus. I think we'll take the bus because it's not close. Here we are. This is Furugawa. Buck, you, you want to tell us what to do? He said that we need to speak to the oracle. Is that right? Talk to the oracle tree. Oh, okay. Which one's the oracle tree? But yeah, we've been here a couple of times now. This is Gustav's old stomping grounds who left us fairly recently. So we got to talk to the tree. Oh. I am the Oracle. Oh. I see visions of deception and hardship ahead. I see loss, sorrow and pain. I see hope, love and joy. Oh. You will return to the world with a token of passage, a piece of soul already paid, an item of immense value, oh. an obol. But Spirifera, this is not what you came here for. You came here seeking answers. Oh. You will find these answers in those simple numbers. Minus 85, minus 92. Those symbols will show you the oh. way. The receptacle of light awaits. I got given another obol from the tree. Up here there's a place where we can spend our obols. We, we, we've done it already. So... Interesting. So let's check. We've got to go back to Buck. Okay, so let's go long. wonder if I can do it in one go. That's it. Dodge. wonder if I can do it in one go without touching the floor. Keep. Oh, I missed it. Just about. Keep dodging. Ah, man. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. <laughs> Place is too big. Place is too big. But if you look at the back, all the constellations in the sky are always looking down on us. We do not forget our friends. I have gone too far. That is too far. Back this way. Buck! Amazing. Commander, this day will forever be inscribed in archives of yore. Forever sung by the balladeers of the Seven Corners. The Oracle has awakened. He talked to you. His puzzle might be cryptic, but you will no doubt find the solution of this, I am sure. Roll. Oh well. Nah, I think you can figure out this one on your own. Good luck. So, minus 185, minus 92. Minus, oh wow, minus 185, and then minus 
92, which is down here. Minus 185, minus 92. Right in the corner. Right in the corner of the map. I've got close before, but I've never actually made it that far. Okay, everybody up. We're on an adventure. How are my peaches coming? Still growing. Not quite yet there yet. It still needs to grow a little bit more, and then it will start bearing fruit. Okay, morning. Want a hug? Let's chat, let's chat. When you think about hospitals, you think about the sounds, the beeping of the machines. Beep, beep, like a goddamn Funtendo. Even with all the machines hooked up to him, my brother's room was silent, and there were flowers. From the boys, from our family, from our new family. It was like a wake. Shit, it felt like a wake. Mum was there every single day and night. She got so exhausted that the doctors told her to go home at night. I tried telling her, Ma, you're tired, go home. I couldn't get her to move. It took the doctor to give her permission to leave the hospital. You know what, kid? I think that not hearing him laugh really killed me. More than the gun to my mouth. I was the only one who could calm him down for shit's sake. Get him to see reason. Even when he got a boiling red tomato face. And I couldn't even do that anymore. Wow, there's... There's a reveal for you. Here we are. We have found the hidden shrine. This is where we've been asked to come to. Okay. Um, I'll just check my peaches one more time. And they have not come through. Okay, so... Nothing else to do now, really. Let's check this out. Buck is a mysterious guy. He's not someone we especially invited on and discovered. We kind of just met the guy and he's like, oh, I'm going to come with. So, it's not like these spirits. He came fully formed, but here we are. The Oracle's words were true. Commander, these dark woods conceal a shrine of immense power. Old, ancient shrines have a will of their own. Hello. Imbued with the divine power of Houter and the Wires, they can only reveal themselves to a true heir of Ramalda. Okay, these guys want to rest. Sure. Only you, the chosen one, can resonate with this magic. Only you, the star child, can wield the glaive of divine justice. Go, Commander. Cast your heavenly magic and whisper the secret words. May your actions enlighten our path. May the light shine. Okay. So, I guess we can climb. Oh god, missed. Missing. But there is a shrine here. I've got lots of obols, so this shouldn't be too bad. I've got four. Which is actually quite a lot, and the tree just gave me one in Furagar. Um, okay, hello. A light burst. I only need two. Press right trigger to release Everlight energy in all directions around you. Okay, let's do this. I didn't think we'd be unlocking a power this late into proceedings. So, oh, it's like that. Okay, magical. Blessed be the eleven stars, you definitely are the chosen one. The light bearer, the sun bringer. She who shall enlighten our souls and liberate our consciousness drenched in shadow. That power bestowed upon you by the very fabric of this world will be our weapon. A weapon whose power will rival the thrice-forged glaive of Ethelder, the first of the Dalars. Alas, this party must split up now. The Silver Company has played its role fully, and it's time for its members to ride back to their homesteads. Hello. Also, these guys have passed their curfew and need to get back home. Let's trek back to the Galleon, where I shall describe our next task in great lore-dumping details. Also, I gotta look at my notes again. Okay. How are you doing? Hello. It's me, Werdrick the Bard. I sing songs, cast spells, and smoke the pipe. But mostly, I smoke a pipe. Okay. What will be our side quest, I wonder? If I can talk to these guys, get that lore. I'm Elper in the Ranger. As leader of the Silver Company, I'm honoured to meet you. I'm Jerome, and my latest character is Emderil. Have I told you about the changes they made to mounted combat in the latest compendium? We really need to talk about that. Okay. How are you doing? Absolutely wonderful. Commander, you have soared like a celestial starbird. 
I kneel before your magnificence, O chosen one. You are the true wielder of magic, the rightful heir to the radiant crown of Ramalda. Huzzah for Stella. Huzzah for you, Commander. Long live our hope. Wow. And is, is that all we can do here? Just to double check. It's a bit of a remote place. But it's interesting that they're, they're doing it as part of their, you know, their roleplay game. But at the same time, this is, this is real. What we, what we came across, that isn't something out of a game. You know, within the game story, you know what I'm saying. So there's a bit of a crossover there. Buck still wants to chat. Let's, let's, let's get moving somewhere. Let's get moving somewhere. Oh, what is that? That is a bus stop. So, someone tucked a bus stop right there. I'm going to head for it. And we're going to talk to Buck. Because he's going to tell us what's up, Commander. Commander, I must sadly bequeath you with a grim knowledge. I need to shed an anguish light on your essential mission. We cannot defeat the primeval evil powers of the lit god Gornomoloth by ourselves. We must rally to our cause the free peoples of the three continents. You shall light the fires of Tondor. We will trek through the treacherous waters of the Great Sea and illuminate the sky, sending our heroic message. The fires of Tondor might be known to you already. Crate of Light itself, the Tower of Radiance, where you met me, your humble narrator. Then the most conspicuous fire of Tondor is nested in the heart of the Gallery of Sins. Finally, the last fire of Tondor is hidden atop the eternal ice spire, concealing its pure white lights. However, Commander, you have to know that our roads will be all but safe. I must warn you of the great danger posed by the Orcs of the Shadow Steel Clan. Their master, the war chief, Ongrathog, one eye, is Gormlodos' vassal. Surely the orcs will maneuver to ambush us at their faintest of opportunities. In fact, quick, roll initiative. One. That's a fumble. You are completely taken by surprise. The orcs jump from the shadows and bellow ugly roars. The shadow steel clan will devour your innards, shouts. Is it Gomgotta? The orc chieftain. Ready yourself, and commander. Some of these foes will be protected by Gormlodos' nefarious magic. Only your light burst ability can shatter their protection. May the fight begin. W wait, what now? Oh, okay. So, he's got all these stuff. And if I, if I flash, if I do my special flash move. There we go. That is how we get rid of it. Oh, that's it. i got to charge it up. I'm getting XP potion. No, I missed it. I missed that one. Okay, I'm going to take these guys down. That's it. There's a guy over there. So what does XP Potion do? Ah, oh, missed it. Missed it. It's the it's the glowy ones. Yeah, the grimly ones that I want. I'd ignore the regular ones. I want the glowy ones. It's just a regular dude. I mean... Okay, this is what I want. But I can only use the power so often. Because it, it has to recharge every time I do it. That is a double hit, though. That is a double hit. There's another one up here. Quickly, am I recharged? I missed it. Missed it. And if I do my dash, I can't use it either. Okay. So that's something we can do. Buck, explain. Explain. Fantastic. Crawling through the debris, wounded and vanquished. Is it Gonkotex expertates himself from the field? I will be back, stronger and crueler. In a shriek, the routed orc vanishes from the remnants. This was astounding, Commander. Your fighting aptitude is exceptional, but there's not a minute to waste. Carrying deep in their caves, the orcs of the Shadow Steel Clan are regrouping and planning their revenge. Quick, to the fires of Tondor. The fires of Tondor, Nordsea Pier, Sandwich Walk, and Hikarashima Lighthouse. Okay, so we can fight orcs now and get XP bottles. Ooh, peaches. Finally. But I need a hundred. I wonder how many I actually need. Because there's, there's no way it's a hundred. Guy, t tell me how many peaches you want. Excuse me. Wait, land. I, I want to give you a peach. Scout, 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 scout. What's up? What's your problem? You ruined the whole operation. The buyer is very specific about his cargo. What am I going to do with carrots and peaches? You're the worst partner I've ever had. You can't even get a simple order straight. 
My brother would never mess up like this. I don't think this is going to work out. Let's go. You weren't ready to step up. I shouldn't have trusted you. Ah, shit. Listen, let's go. I know a place. It's called the Everdor. We should go now. Okay. They're, they're ready to go. So, I think... I think we should go. Okay, so let us take a nap and we'll go there right now. Hmm. Interesting couple of guys. I'm not quite sure. A lot of the people who've shown up on the boat, they do have like a direct connection to Stella. But these guys, they, ju they just kind of seem to hop on board and be down with it. So I I'm not sure what the connection is. But it is raining and our bus stop is here. And I want to check out the Everdoor and see all these other guys show up. So hang on, quickly. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, Scout. We need to talk. I've been... You know how I've been. You want to go somewhere? Um, sure. Okay. He's a strong little hummingbird. I ain't never seen this guy move of his own accord. But he's the stoic type. He doesn't say much himself. But this... This is it. Oh, man. Almost forgot. Listen. Let's just get on. I can't do this job without my brother. Let's just get on and talk it through. Alright. I'm ready when you are. So, two, two people leaving the other door in one video. And then it's going to be a different game altogether. I didn't plan this life for me and my brother. They used to call me the talker. I could talk your ear off, I did notice. I would never shut up. However, right now, I don't really want to talk. I should just be like my brother and take a moment. Pause and listen. Yeah, and think for a change. Fat chance. At my age, nothing's possible. Nobody changes. Anybody that tells you otherwise is lying. Or trying to sell you something. The only thing I'd rather be is true to myself. That might make me an arsehole in the end. It might make me a loyal brother to this man here. None of this shit matters. None of it. Do you know why we're here? It's because I have a small imagination. I can't see beyond my back streets, my town, my family, and my friends. More importantly, I can't see a life beyond my brother. If he goes, I go. Funny thing is, he went a long time ago. I just didn't want to admit it to myself. I was holding on to something from the past. My reputation, my house, my car, whatever it was. It was nice while it lasted. It just doesn't change anything. And any way you slice it, we're still Maria's kids from South Broad. Nothing's ever going to change. Not even in the end. Alright, Mickey. Deep breaths now. They might have been involved in some horrific stuff, but they were brothers. Thick and thin, right to the end. All of it. All of it. Let's go see what everyone's been raving about. I'll send you a postcard, kid. they go two brothers but the way they lived their lives they they were one being that's it that's it 
True Brothers. And now our boat is very, very quiet. Okay, I guess it's just me and Buck now. But as we're in the Everdor, we can see everyone. Oh, summer. It's been a long time. But I think there's not much more to go on this game. I think it's pretty obvious by this point where we're going to go with it. But we're going to go with it in the next episode. This is Usho signing off. And hopefully I will see you next time.